Hi Vulcan Builders. I've had a question about uh, how to how I've attached the nose cone on the Vulcan. So I've made this uh, little video to show you uh, how I did that and also a little modification I did to uh, possibly help with the uh, cooling in the front of the fuselage. Okay this is the uh, nose cone that I'm talking about. It's actually very easily removable. Now I don't have the this isn't the original nose cone. This isn't actually even lightweight uh, PLA anymore because I found I didn't need it. Um, in fact, uh, I actually needed more weight up the front. So this is uh, PLA plus, but not the lightweight. And this version of the uh, print actually has the join here, about midway along the uh, along the length. Now. This is very good because it made it an awful lot easier to match up the two, um, the two parts. Um, previously, the earlier version had a join somewhere around here and it was actually very difficult to align correctly and to get a good overlap. But this one's actually literally got an overlap. If you can see in here, there's a bit of a lip. It's a lip here. So that's made it a lot easier to align. The other change is that we have this circular, circular ring here. Actually have here the um, original design for this uh, connector ring between the nose cone and the fuselage. You can see the two slots here, one for the bottom, one for the top. Um, but there is no notch like there is on this modified um, print. I think the modified print is also um, a bit wider than this, so that gives a bit more, bit more overlap, which helps quite a lot. So, so yeah, these are the two slots I'm talking about, and they just push around this central. Um, uh, former if you like it that's in the uh, first print of the fuselage section so um, that just slides in there around that and uh, um, I just glued it into uh, into place I was actually fortunate that for the first one I hadn't glued this one in place so that gave me uh, a very easy option to uh, just change the two over all you need to do then is actually just push that down a little bit, push in, and it pretty much just clicks into place. It, look at that. I guess if you pull hard like I did then, you can pull the whole lot off. But the forces in flight are actually pushing it back. They're not pulling on it. Um, so this holds in place perfectly well in flight. Um, there's no need to put any tape around the top, you could. Um, but uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Very simple, but it works. There's no need um, to have any uh, of the um, rubber bands inside to pull it in. Uh, although you can do that, and I, I believe some others are doing that, and that was uh, the original design intent. Here it is. It's, there's nothing else holding that in place, but it's a tight fit and it's, it's not going to come off in flight. I might also note that uh, uh, I've got an earlier version of the Vulcan that didn't have that uh, little um, bump out the front uh, of the nose. So I've actually got a hole in the nose. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a hole in the nose here. The other thing I've done is the print actually didn't come out too well along here. There was a bit of a, a gap this side of the this uh, fence here and you probably have difficulty seeing it but also in, in this area here. So there's actually two slots there and there's this hole in the nose. So what I've done, see if you can see it, but I've actually got the uh, soldering iron and burnt through a hole right at the um, at the end there of the duct and uh, the idea is that there could this could help uh, with some airflow f 
through the um, through the plane and hopefully um, uh, help cool this speed controller up here which does get very hot in fact you can see how it's melted the PLA a little bit underneath hasn't melted on top though which it has done on Tim's Tim's version so I'm hoping that's a sign that there is some uh, some extra cooling happening here potentially it could also help cool the battery which I I just put in here sideways in the fuselage um, so uh, yeah anyway just some ideas um, hope this helps happy building and best of all happy flying thank you